maintenance and continuous treatment in acute myeloid leukemia. The three phases of AML treatment for many people are induction, consolidation, and maintenance. Induction is designed to put AML into remission, meaning less than 5% immature leukemic cells in the bone marrow. Consolidation is designed to kill any leukemia cells left behind in the body. If any are found, this is called minimal or measurable residual disease. Maintenance chemotherapy after consolidation may help keep AML from coming back by killing more leukemic cells or keeping them to a low level. Treatment failure occurs when your AML treatment is not successful in eliminating all the leukemia from your bone marrow after initial therapy, also known as induction chemotherapy. Complete remission occurs when myeloblasts, or leukemic cells, represent less than 5% of the cells in your bone marrow when examined under a microscope. It also means that your blood counts have met certain parameters that are near normal. Adults over 60 are less likely to experience complete remission. They may not be healthy enough for the intensive induction and consolidation treatment regimen. They may have an aggressive type of AML or other conditions that keep them from receiving intensive chemotherapy. And they may not be candidates for a stem cell transplant, currently the best treatment to cure AML. Induction treatment is chemotherapy with powerful drugs or drug combinations. It kills the leukemia cells, but also most of the residual healthy cells. Other strong medicines are needed to prevent or treat infection and possibly control side effects of the treatment. Induction is followed by consolidation treatment with other drugs or different doses of the original drugs to kill remaining leukemia cells. Maintenance therapy is additional chemotherapy after induction and consolidation therapy has led to remission. It may help prevent relapse or prolong the remission and help people live longer. If you cannot have the most intensive treatment commonly used in induction and consolidation due to age, other health conditions, or for other reasons, maintenance therapy may be an option. Many clinical trials are testing new drugs for maintenance therapy. Azacytidine is one maintenance therapy drug that helps patients live longer without AML relapse. Clinical trials have shown it is helpful for people 55 and older. There are different versions, pill and injection, that work differently in the body. Decitabine is another maintenance therapy drug that may help some patients with AML live longer without relapse. Some therapies are approved to treat people with certain lineage maturation markers. For example, gemtuzumab ozogamycin is sometimes used in induction treatment or after a relapse for people with the CD33 marker on their AML. Enacidinib can help people with a mutation called IDH2, and ivocidinib can help people with the IDH1 mutation. Giltaridinib and mitostorin can be used to treat people with a FLT3 mutation. Doctors must always test the bone marrow for these and other chromosome abnormalities and gene mutations. The list of AML maintenance options for older adults, people with certain genetic mutations, and people who cannot tolerate the most intensive treatments is growing. Ask your doctor about clinical trials of these drugs. If you do not experience remission or choose not to continue treatment, you still have options. You and your doctor can create a treatment program that helps you feel as well as you can for as long as possible. Depending on your AML and general health, some therapies may help keep your AML stable and prolong your survival even if you still have AML, provided you still have some healthy bone marrow cells.